Hey guys, Vitus Education here and welcome to the 3DS Max Beginner Modeling Series and in today's episode we're going to be giving you a basic understanding of how the user interface in uh, 3DS Max actually works, giving you a foundation ready for creating your own models inside of 3DS Max. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, when you open up 3DS Max 2016, you're probably going to be uh, given this little start screen. And from here, you can go to a few different places. Uh, first, uh, first things first, you can open up a startup template. So we've got a few here. Now, the most important one is going to be the original startup one in the top left here. This is just a blank canvas, you know, an empty 3ds Max uh, file. But we've also got a few that are pre-made and came with the engine. And we can open those and we can explore them if we wanted to. For example, I could open up this uh, underwater scene here. My computer's a little slow, but it will open up eventually, and then we can just fly around in here and uh, take a look at it if we wanted to. Um, but for the most part, you're just going to want to go ahead and press the original uh, blank startup, and you will get into a little screen that looks not quite like this. Let me just restart 3ds Max for you guys real quick. So I'm just opening it up again. Uh, it should only take a second or two. Alright, so now that we've got this open up again, let's just go ahead and press the original startup and we'll be brought to this screen. Now, for most of you, if you've only just started using the engine, it may look a little bit uh, complex to you. So what I want to do today for you is break it down into a few different little sections. So let's go ahead and start off with the viewport. That's probably the most important part. Uh, the reason for that being, it allows you to actually see what you are creating. So you've got four little boxes here, it's not all the same unfortunately. And these are basically different views of your object. So you can see here from the little cubes, you've got your top view, you've got your front view, you've got your left view, and then you've got your perspective view. Now you can change these around if you wanted to. For example, I can click left and change that to a front view, or you can even just change it around like this so uh, you can have another perspective view just from a different location. It's completely up to you. Now I'm going to be going over the viewport in a little bit more detail in the next video because um, you really need to understand it. And today I'm just trying to give you a basic understanding of the whole software. So the most important one for you is probably going to be the perspective view though and that actually allows you to see your object in 3D in real space. So I'm just going to quickly create an object for you, it should be pretty simple. Um, you probably won't know how to do this, don't worry about doing it just yet, just take a look. So we've got our 3D view of the box I just made here and you can also see we've got the basic wireframe views in the top. Uh, front and the other perspective view that I've got here and that's just all you need to know about the viewport for right now. So next things, uh, next thing we've got is our little menu drop down. This is just the basic stuff like uh, open a new file, save a file, export, import, and so on and so forth. So next up, we've got our little toolbar, toolbar up here, and this allows us to, you know, just play around with a few things. So for example, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and uh, move some of my objects around using the transformation tools up here in the top left. So we've got select and move, we've got select and rotate, we've got scale, and then we've got uh, select and place. So, but for the most part, you're probably just going to use these three, which is select and uniform scale, select and rotate, and select and move. And if I use these tools, I can use it to move around our objects and just manipulate them. I can rotate it, move them, whatever you want to do. So we've got a few other little buttons in here in the little uh, toolbar, like uh, the material editor. Like I said though, I'm going to be showing you how to use these as I get into them. So for example, with the material editor, I'm going to be making a whole video for that and uh, I'll teach you how to use everything inside of that. So I'm not going to go over everything in too much detail today. So we've also got the little menu strip up here and uh, there's a few little buttons in here. But as I said previously, I'm just going to go over these um, in videos as you actually need to use them. So for example, when I get to my rendering video, I'm going to be showing you how to use some of these little rendering uh, options that we have here. So let's just go ahead and leave those. 
Now, the next important part that we've got here is the command panel on the right hand side. And we've got a few different bits. We've got the create panel, we've got the modify, hierarchy, motion, display, and uh, utilities. So, this allows us to command 3ds Max. We can actually tell it what to do. So, if I go over to the create, uh, the create bit in the command panel and go to geometry, I can use that to command 3ds Max to make me a box or whatever. Or if I wanted to, I could use it to command it to tell it to create shapes, lights, cameras, whatever. Like I said though, I'm going to be going over lights, cameras, and uh, you know, your basic shapes all separately over the next few videos. So we've also got like the, we've got the little modify tab which allows us to apply little modifiers to this. So for example, if I wanted to, I could crease our box or do whatever. I'm going to be going over modifiers separately once again. Sorry to uh, keep doing this to you guys, but I just want to give you a basic understanding. So when I actually tell you something, if you go, for example, if I wanted to, if I was to tell you to go over to the command panel and go to create, I want you to know where that is and uh, just basically be able to follow along and that's what this video is for you. So let's just leave it at that for now and we've got one last section which is really important. Uh, for some of you, you may not need to use it but this is actually for animation. So if you take a look at the uh, bottom section of the software, you've got this little timeline here and we can basically scroll through some of the different uh, keyframes we might have on there. And then we've also got um, a few little buttons like play animation, next frame, last frame, and a few other little things like zoom and so on and so forth. We've got our keyframe creation bits like set key, auto key. So I'm just going to quickly make a very basic animation just moving the box from left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and press set key and then just press the button once to make the first keyframe move over to the fifth frame and I'm going to move the box over to here, press it again. And now if I just go ahead and go to previous frame, you can see the box moving backwards and forwards just like that. So I'm going to start off with the animation at the very base at uh, the very beginning. I'm going to press play animation and you're going to see it move just like that. And we can also drag some of these uh, keyframes uh, along if I want to do. Anyway, that is pretty much everything in the uh, software that I want to show you as for a basic overview of the user interface. So uh, let's go ahead and move over to the next video where I'm actually going to be showing you how to use the viewport in a little bit more detail. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.